Hi, today I'm going to be giving a brief demonstration of how to use the Z attack proxy, which is produced by OWASP, to intercept and fuzz web requests in order to search for cross site scripting vulnerabilities. So, to begin, we need to install the OWASP ZAP proxy as a proxy within our system settings or our browser settings. And we can actually do that within Firefox. If you go to Preferences, and then go to the Advanced tab, click on the Network tab, then click on Settings. You can then change it to Manual Proxy Configurations, and by default, Zap Proxy uses localhost and 8080 as the port. So once that's set, you can close these settings. Now, when you refresh the site, you'll notice in Zap Proxy, you have the name of the website pop here on the left, pop up on the left under Sites. You can then expand it and view the various requests and pages that are associated with that site. So in this case, the About You page is the page that we're loading here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type my name into the box. We'll come up with a nickname and my last name. And then hit Submit. And as you can see, the web page here, which is just a, it's webscantest.com, which essentially just is a series of web pages that are purposely vulnerable to various web attacks that you can practice uh, scanning or practice your cross-site scripting, searching abilities, skills, whatever. Um, but I'll show you here in the uh, Zap Proxy interface. You can see under the Request tab here the various parameters that you sent this web page. So you can see that you pass it F name, Matt, Nick, nickname, and L name, last name. So now, in order to search for cross site scripting, we're going to highlight one of these parameters. So in this case, we're going to try Matt. Because if you, hear, if you look here on the page, we're searching for something that the page is going to echo back out to the user. So in this case, it prints welcome Matt, nickname, last name. And so it's printing back all of those fields. If you're searching for cross-site scripting vulnerability, what you want to do is find a field that you, you can edit yourself with your own text or insert your own text into and find a page that, that text is being echoed back out to the user on the page itself. And you can find these cross-site scripting vulnerabilities because the developers of the web page did not sanitize the input um, or encode it before echoing it out to the user. So if you look here, you'll see F name. And if we right click on this, Zap gives us the option of fuzzing this particular parameter. So if you click fuzz, you'll be presented with a box that has a bunch of uh, options for you to choose. So we're going to scroll down to XSS. And then we're going to select XSS rsnake.txt. And what this is is just a text file of a bunch of different payloads of cross site scripting code that you can use to insert into this parameter instead of the word Mac. Uh, and the reason that we're using Zap is because it does it extremely quickly and extremely efficiently rather than testing it manually. So we're going to go ahead and hit fuzz here. And you'll see that Zap goes through and tries each one of these. And it puts a little yellow, looks like a light bulb or a sun, whenever it recognized that that attack was executed. So once that's finished, you can actually right click on one of these and click open URL in browser. And uh, it's not going to work here because it's a post, but if it was a get, then it would work. But what this is telling you is that this particular payload was, was working. So if you try you know, script alert XSS script in one of these fields. So I typed in the JavaScript uh, XSS test that Zap told us worked. And then for last name, we'll just use last name. And you can see that an alert box pop popped up. 
So that's a quick tutorial on how to use Zap Proxy to fuzz a web form or a web page parameter for different cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. Thanks for watching and be sure to leave a